I decided to follow, to follow Jesus Christ. You just bought a, well, I got two instances. Uh, I was raised Catholic, and sometime around 2012, my mom came down with some really bad anxiety and depression. And at the time, I was going to school in, in uh, California. So she would call me like two or three in, in, the, like in the morning. I was asleep and just crying, just didn't know what to do. My uncles, all my all of my dad's brothers, they have been Christian probably since before I was even born, except my dad. He was the only one. And so my mom kind of like out of desperation just kind of reached out to my uncle. And you know, the same day they took her to uh, to church, and that's when she knew that okay, like this is where we're gonna get help. And then little by little, like my mom's the one that kind of brought every all of all of us into Christ and you know but I started attending church because of that but it was more for like obedience towards towards her because I, I mean I saw what Jesus did for my mom so I wanted to see what what it was all about like I already knew about Jesus from when being being a Catholic but I didn't have like a relationship with him so I started attending church and, that same church had a church in California, so I was attending the one in California that I was, I was in school. I did it for about six months, and I moved back. When I moved back, I stopped stopped going, and I started hanging out with people that I knew, knew back from uh, from high school. So I started I started basically drinking a lot to the point where um, like I was drinking about twelve to eighteen beers a day just by myself. And you know, a lot a lot of people tell me now, like you used to drink, and oh you know, yeah, I used to drink a lot. <laughs> and um, my mom, my dad would tell me, like, you know, you need to you need to get your stuff together. You need to stop doing this. And I'm like, okay, well, like I'll go back to church when I get my stuff. Together. And you know, and <laughs> I the more I tried to get my stuff together, the more I just kept falling into that whole life. And maybe about a year and a half ago, I saw an ad for, it was for a life, it was Lifeway Bible. I just saw it on Facebook. And so I just, I followed the link and I, and I bought, I bought my first Bible like, for myself before I was, I was using the moms. So, and then I just started reading it. And I think that's when I started to want to know more. And I started from Started from the from the Old Testament all the way up to the New, and then uh, the pandemic hit, and then that's when I kind of like started thinking, okay, you know, life. I probably don't have this whole life to really start seeking out Jesus, because okay, maybe you know, my uncle always always used to tell me. Like, okay, maybe you don't have to wait for Jesus to come back. Because my, uh, my uncle would always, would always tell us that maybe the day you die, that's how you're, that's how you're going to be judged. You don't know when you're going to die. And the pandemic hit, so I just started thinking, okay, you know what? I need, I need him to not only to get me free from, from these chains of alcohol and partying and all this other stuff, because I I've, I've been trying to do this on my own and I can't I can't stop it. I just get keep falling deeper into it. So I started going to different churches online and it wasn't until I clicked on on Springs Church. I just ran into it on Facebook and it was actually Eric. It was actually Eric's um, first first uh, service that he was preaching. It was in a he was here by himself. And he started talking about how he was an alcoholic. How he, I think he said he used to drink a bottle a day or something like that. Oh my God. Like, and so I just started listening to him. And then the following week, I listened again, just telling it was Pastor Brian. And I was just, yeah, it was Pastor Brian. And I just kept listening and listening. And then I really liked what, like how they say, exactly how. I would read it in the Bible. That's exactly how he would preach it. Like 
he, would, he doesn't water down nothing. So I started saying to myself, okay, this is what I need to attend because they're going to give me the truth. It's important to me because it's my display with my relationship with Jesus Christ. Um, I want to show the world that I am a follower of Christ, not just Christian by name. Hope and forgiveness. Hope that He's going to help, help me and help everybody else come out of this, these chains. These chains that just keep pulling us down. Whatever your addiction may be, if it's an addiction or whatever it is you're going through your life, Jesus is the light. He's the light that we all we all search for. And forgiveness from the, the stuff that that we've always done in the world, like stuff that not, nowadays seems so normal, which completely not.